Samoa, what's up, man? What's up? Can't be mad at that one. This is where it starts right here. Cozy, what's up, baby? How you doing? What's going on, Justin? Hey, I appreciate it. You shout out to Papa Nova, man. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's how we get started. Defense. 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 It's Chris Moore from the Baltimore Ravens. You're watching the Ravens videos. If you like it, please subscribe and continue to watch. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? I'm Raven here with another video. 5.47 in the morning. Um, my Uber's calling me. Hello? Yeah, hey, hello. It's your turn. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm outside. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm coming out now. Thank you. Now, I was going to have my wife take me. I have her and Carter get up. I set her alarm on her phone. She turned it right off once it went off. Plus, we had people over last night, and they didn't leave till like 1 in the morning. I'm going to just take an Uber. It's okay. Oh, now she just woke up. All right, he's already outside. Yeah, they're going to run that again. Please. I, I hope so, man. <laughs> I think I have a quarterback. Bills don't have a quarterback, man. Yeah. Yeah, Bills don't have a quarterback. Well, they do, but they don't. They got a rookie. Oh, but they're yeah. not, they not going to play the rookie tomorrow. I mean, they're going to play the rookie. But, you know, they got the H2, like, the position last like, year. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's Nathan Peterman. Yeah, the Chargers. Yeah, you know, the Chargers. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I get it confused a lot of times, too, man, since they moved. I hope so, man. Sometimes Ravens don't, they don't make the games easy, but... We'll I see mean, how it goes. They, they, be, they made a mistake though. They should have, they should have, they should have never tried that. They traded um, on. Tyrod Taylor? Tyrod Taylor. They should have, they should have, they should have traded that. They should have. Traded, no. they should have. Yeah, yeah. I feel, yeah, I think the, the ownership, um, once they got rid of their old head coach Rex Ryan, they weren't feeling Tyrod Taylor anymore. But, it's all good. They, they, they never liked him. No. Nah. Alright, I just I just landed. Um got my rental car. They gave me a they gave I originally was supposed to get a Nissan Sentra or something like that. Uh but the guy everything today has been going like so smoothly. Except I mean the weather's not too bad. It's a little misty outside, but it's cool. Um everything today has been going like super smooth. Uh I woke up this morning. <laughs> that Uber ride, that was the first time I took an Uber. Um the guy, the Uber driver was great. It was cool because we were talking about football. And at first, um, I'm like, okay, yeah, he, we talking about football or whatever, but he ain't really gonna probably, he probably ain't gonna really know it, know it like that. But he was naming like head coaches specifically and, uh, play, specific players and whatnot. And, um, the, that we were gonna be playing the Bills tomorrow. Um, and then he was like talking about all this different stuff specifically that only somebody who like really, uh, knew and paid attention to the NFL would know so that was really cool. So he, he was really really nice really really nice I had to give him a tip too. the flight ended up or he got he did uh, miss a couple of turns On the way to the airport, but I still got there early enough. Oh the flight the flight landed a little bit early. So that was good um, Got off the plane. Oh, I saw Greg Hardy at the airport too. I saw Greg Hardy at the uh, at Fort Lauderdale airport That dude is huge man. He is big. I ain't go up to him and say anything I saw him while uh, we were going through the little TSA thing. I was at, in one line, and he was in a line like maybe like maybe 15 feet away or whatever. So I looked at him. I was like, oh, I, I was like, that guy looks familiar. I said, that's Greg Hardy, man. Um, so I looked at him again, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's him for sure. He's he's big, man. He is big. And I wanted to go up to him, but then I was like, ah, nah, I ain't I ain't gonna go up to him. It ain't. It would have been cool, but I was like, ah, whatever. Um, so I just kept him moving. Uh, the plane ride was smooth. It was quick. I did do spirit again since I am alone. Um, yeah, it was uncomfortable, and uh, but it was all right. Man. I, you don't have no internet on there uh, for people who's never flown spirit. Um, I got no complaints from them this time. This time everything was fine. Oh, so now uh, I, I get to the rental car, and everything was like running. As soon as I got off the plane, I walked outside. The uh, the transportation to take us to the uh, the rental car service that was, the the bus was right outside. So as soon as I got out the airport, the bus was right there. They took us on over. Um, got off, found next car. I used next car. I had never heard of them before um, until this uh, trip. But I used them. There was nobody in line, so I got to get everything taken care of right away. Uh, we got everything done in like less than 10 minutes. Oh, and the guy was like, oh, uh, yeah, I was supposed to get like a Nissan Sentra. That's what I signed up for. But the guy, when he was talking to me, he was like, oh, and I, and I got you a free upgrade. And I was like, oh, 
He probably ain't do that. He probably just really saying that. But he actually did do it. I mean, y'all can't really see nothing in here. This is not a Nissan Sentra. Though. He upgraded me to a, a Hyundai uh, Santa Fe, I think. It's a little, a little mini SUV. This was, this was nice, man. Um, so just in case I pick up anybody else from Team Keep It Clean, uh, nah, I probably ain't gonna do that. But um, this is cool, man. So to, everything has been going super smooth. Everything has been going great. Um, so I'm hyped, man. Last time it took me for, forever to find a charger, but we got one, and it's it got the lights, and it's, it's lit up and all that. So we good right now, man. She gonna mess around and get hit, man. She's so antsy to get across the street. She gotta chill, man. Oh, hold up. We might need her to come play running back for the Ravens just in case something happened happen to Alex Collins, man. See, that's how you know you're old, cause I'm. I was over here getting mesmerized by this freaking library, man. I'm over here, I was looking at. It, I'm like, man, that's a nice library, man. Oh, that's Laurel Branch Library. Stanley something. I'ma just say Stanley Jean Baptiste, since he's a member of the Ravens. Even though he's on injury reserve, I can't see the rest of the world because the trees blocking it. But the library, this library is nice, man. So I just um. I'm coming from my cousin's house because I'm going to be staying with them. So shout out to them. No hotels being paid for. Now I am, I'm looking for a carryout. Trying to find me a carryout. There's a McDonald's here. The, that's fine. There's Panera Bread that's there. Panera Bread sucks. There's Moe's over there too. No. Uh, there's Subway. Eat fresh. Nope. They, oh, there's Saku. Oh, I might go there. I've never seen Saku as, as a standalone store. I always see them at the mall. Oh, look, they got Saku. And there's Outback. See, I'm over here talking all this trash that I wanted to go to a carryout. And then I saw Saku and, oh, man, hold up. Why they got all these stores lined up like, uh, like they still building them or something? They don't even look official yet. I might have to go there and go to uh, the carryout. Nando's. Petty Petty. Oh, Carter's. Shout out to my son. Check them out. They really got Saku by itself, man. I'm not used to that. We It's always in the mall down in Florida. I like that. Now, Popeye's would be one of the only places. Well, Saku was too. Oh, they making me thinking about, you know what? Forget the carry out, man. Let's just hit up Popeye's. That might be the move, man. Is this a drive through Well, I feel like I'm going the opposite way to drive through Oh, hold up. No, I'm not. Welcome to Popeye's. Can't take your order. Yeah. Um, let me get the, uh, oh, man. Uh, what does a four-piece uh, spicy combo come with? The four-piece, uh... The number three? Yeah. Comes with a side and a drink. All right, yeah, let me get that. Um, The side, the uh, Cajun That's fries. Spicy, right? Yeah, spicy. Uh, spicy, white, or dark? Uh, white. And, oh, the side will be uh, Cajun fries. And I'll also get the uh, the $5 boneless wing bash. It's going to be like a seven-minute wait. Oh, uh, that's fine. Uh, what was the drink for the four-piece? The drink for the four-piece... I'll do a, uh, a lemonade. All right, is that all? Uh, and an order of, do they come with biscuits or no? Yeah, it comes with a biscuit. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, that's it. 10.49. Oh, no, yeah, uh, for the, do y'all have tenders? Yeah. Well, I'll do, um, they said the other one's gonna be a seven minute wait. I'll do, uh, uh no, that's okay. I, I'll just do that, that's it then. Just the four piece. 10.49. All right, appreciate it. I ain't even know what I was gonna order, man. I didn't even know what to order. I know this dude was probably thinking like, man, this guy's annoying. I know he was getting frustrated because I was getting frustrated with myself. It's all good, man. So FaceTime and Carter looks like. Talking to me one second, he put me down on the ground. And I'm looking at a ceiling fan. Carter, pick the phone up. Carter. Team keep it clean. It's game day. It's also rain day. Because again, every time I come out here, this rain just, it, it won't let up. Bring the rain all the way from Florida uh, up here. It is what it is. It's supposed to be raining all 
game long so i'm not looking forward to that we'll see how it goes we out here man we coming from laurel so it will be about 30 minutes right now it's, it's 10 41 uh so we get there about 11 15 or whatever it sucks how this weather gotta follow me man it just can't never let me have a nice clean clear time whenever we come up here one good thing one kind of like bittersweet thing about uh all this rain it actually looks like it's a little tiny tiny bit lighter but maybe because I'm not under the tunnel. But one thing about all this rain, the bittersweet thing, is that it's, it's not that much traffic right now. I thought the traffic was going to be a lot worse because it looked like I was going to be in a lot of traffic because we had slowed down for a bit. Maybe it was just one person calling, causing all that because they wanted to get over something. But there's like, there's like, it's traffic, but it's like, it's, it's nothing. There's, there's like no traffic out right now. Yeah, there it is. I don't even know if you can really see it. That's it. The weather is just all oh, this. Ah. But we're going to make it work, man. Um, I'm about to go meet up with Fred and them from Birdland BS now. We out here now, man. Just parked to 40, 40. <laughs> $40 for parking, man, but it is what it is. Let's get this thing going, man. Walking in the rain. See, they, they can't never question my loyalty, man. Why y'all don't just hire me, man? Let's get it over with. Came up from Florida in this nasty weather. We heard it was going to be nasty even before we got on the plane. Still came anyway. Still going to this game. It's crazy, man. A Ravens, uh, a bus with a whole bunch of Ravens stuff on there. Let me see. Should be there in, like... Just a couple minutes. Let me see. Waiting now. I just, I just, I just passed by all the, uh, all the flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Ravens flag and the American flag and the Maryland flag. Now I'm by the, the, t the tailgate tank. Are you? No, that's not you right there.
it. You got it. You got it. You got it.
it. They gotta put him in motion, fake it to him, give it to Alex Collins. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Black goes pass is incomplete. Third down. Watch Carrick in the You called it. Yeah. You called it. Oh, you look 
more time out of here? Uh, Pass is complete to Jones. Oh, they got another one. Oh, man. First down. Uh, uh, don't, take, don't take that to the locker room, that timeout. Cincinnati Bengals on Thursday night. Love it, man. Appreciate you, man. Defense. Defense. Don't leave home without it. Hey, that's what's up, man. What a game that was. Big shout out to uh, Fred from Birdland BS for making that happen. Again, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. To Birdland BS YouTube channel. It's just like that Birdland BS, man. All one word. This was super fun, man. <laughs> it was great, man. Well, 47 to 3, I think that's what the score was. Thing was ugly, man. I, and I thought it was going to be a blowout, but I didn't think it was going to be like a, this much of a blowout. Showed up today, man. They showed up in a major way. They got the job done and more. But this, it's not going to be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Moving forward, Bengals on Thursday. I gotta try to help and get this video out before then. Got more work to do. Uh, this is great. So now, now it's time for, well, Jimmy's in two hours. Jimmy's, we got a reservation for Jimmy's at seven. So that should be fun. But I'm soaked. My shirt is soaked. My pants are soaked. I could literally pee on myself right now. And nobody will be able to tell, unless it smells. Shoes are soaked, socks are soaked. Everything's soaked, man. So I'm sitting here in this heater right now. Uh, Oh wow, that was so much. Hey, this is Don Wink Martin, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens. Perfect job today, man. Thank you. I know you're upset about those three points, though, man. Yeah. But it happens. Man. Yeah, everybody came out here. Well, that's it. That's the end of the trip. Super, super fun. Last night, I ain't really right. Last, oh, well, you gonna let me finish talking? Last night, I had, uh, after the game, I ain't, I ain't recorded. It was just chill time. Because last night after the game, I had went out to, uh, on to Sandy Spring Road. I went out to uh, went to Jimmy's with my with my guy Jay man. Shout out to my guy Jay man. Uh, we went to Jimmy's. It was super cool. He's a super cool dude. Super nice, and I, I appreciate him, man. It's, it's some it's, you you meet some real good people sometimes, man. So big shout out to him. And then while we was at while we was at Jimmy's, John Brown's his car was there. That purple Range Rover, that purple and black Range Rover. But by the time we got in, uh, he had already left. All right, we were sitting right next to Tony Jefferson. I had I had wanted to go up to him, say what's up or whatever, but he was with his family and whatever and I'm like I ain't, I ain't about to do that man this dude this dude was like he was like with eight people and I ain't about to go hey Tony Jefferson a little good game or can I get a picture a video I ain't about to do that these people got family and, and I'm sure they get tired of people doing that especially if they were if, if he was alone or something okay cool but I was like no but we did uh, well as you probably would have saw by now within this vlog Don Martindale defensive coordinator that guy was super nice talked to him for like maybe a minute maybe not yeah just about a minute he was super nice uh, Cause my boy Jay, he spotted him, and he just he waved at him. Uh, my boy Jay waved at Don, and uh, he told him it was a good game. And Don, uh, he he came over to us, like we were sitting at the table. And he came over to us. We didn't go up to him. He came over to us, and then uh, we were about to get up, and he was like, "No, no, no, sit down, sit down, sit down. It's okay." And he was shaking our hands and stuff, and. Um, I, I told him like, hey, I, I know them, them three points must have hurt, man. 47 points, I'm sure they made it all better, but he was like, nah, he's like, it's fine, because he's like, as long as, nobody, as long as nobody got hurt. He said we got out of the game healthy, so and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, well, hey, that's true, man. That's true. And that defense showed out. Hopefully they continue, but anyway, yeah, man, I'm, I'm headed to the airport now. That's it, man. That's it. Show's over. Uh, I already checked in for my flight. It's 5.02 in the morning now. I should get to the uh, the car rental place mm, in about probably 20 minutes. See how that goes. And then I, I got to go to the car rental place and drop the car off. Um, take the shuttle back to the airport. With me being checked in already, that should help. But I know it's still busy there. I had wanted to leave at 4.30, but I ended up waking up and I'm starting to get ready at 4.30. So hopefully everything is fine. But being checked in should help a lot. Because last time, I was not checked in um, for the flight and i end up missing my original flight and yeah, it was just it was annoying but here's what it is it was my fault of course um so yeah you happy hey
Dream team.